Today we are out here at the gorgeous Animal Kingdom Lodge. The theming is incredible and truly authentic. And with the celebration of Lion King's 30th anniversary, I have just been craving to get over here, see some animals and eat at Boma. Thought we'd take you guys along, see what you think. So let's all go have some dinner. Let's go do it. Yeah, but first we're gonna see Come animals. Along. Okay, so it wouldn't be a trip to the Animal Kingdom Lodge if we didn't come over here to the Victoria Falls Lounge, which is just upstairs from Boma. As you can see, this is gonna be the check-in desk for Boma. Now they do have wonderful appetizers here, like little bar bites that you can get. But since we're going to Boma, we're not gonna do that because it is all you can eat and uh, we wanna get our fill. This is my gorgeous hibiscus margarita. Look at this beautiful thing. Love the hibiscus flower. Half rim, gotta love it. Beautiful, beautiful color. And then Manny, I'm just gonna kind of do this at the same time. He went with the prickly pear. So it's got that gorgeous prickly pear color. Prickly pear mule, little extra bit of lime there. So refreshing looking, I love a mule. So if you're not familiar, prickly pear is actually uh, a fruit of a cactus, a prickly pear cactus. It's the fruit of a prickly pear cactus, which is not a pear in any way, but it... Yep, but you have to, you have to pick the thorns out. <laughs> it's full of crap. There's no thorns. No, oh, very, is it? very good. Is the ginger coming through? Yes. The ginger comes through. The prickly pear, it's... If you've ever had it, it's not very, not extremely sweet, but it's, it does have sweetness. Yeah, it has it. a sweetness to it, but it's um, not like... It's just very nice, sweet. and I think it complements that tart of the ginger very well. So mine is a margarita. I don't think I remembered what kind of... Uh, a hibiscus. Yeah, I know it's hibiscus, but oh, it's Patron. So it's Patron tequila. Silver? It doesn't say, it just says Patron. I would assume so. Silver is typically what you're going to go with in a margarita. Right. So good. <laughs> Yeah, they laughed at me at the front desk. They were like, how are you doing? I was like, I'm doing fantastic. I mean, I'm in Animal Kingdom Lodge right now. Are you kidding me? Like, look at where I'm at. This place is insane. It is incredible. So you come, you sit, and the first thing is, is we're gonna get the cocktail menu. So again, like most things, you end up, you get sort of these two. One is a bit more of a global bar menu, right? And the other one is a more specific to this location menu. Here at Boma, they are definitely um, a little bit more on the wine. So they have that prickly pear mule here, guys, which was very exciting. Manny went with an old fashioned uh, because he was considering the honeybee. Um, our server, Doug, was nice and was saying it's it leans sweet, which if you know Manny, you know, not so big on the sweet. And I had to go with my favorite, which is the Pinotage. I love Pinotage. They don't have the painted dog here. I went with the group Constantia Pinotage from the Western Cape says it is bright red fruits of strawberry and cherry, but they got me with the cinnamon and nutmeg flavors, which is exactly what I think of when I think of a great Pinotage, that spiciness, I'm all about it. So, on the other side, you have more with your whites and your sparkling, but we are getting ready to get a drink, and then it's gonna be time to head up there. I think I'm gonna walk through me everything. Yeah. Try to get my head around things. I know I wanna try the oxtail stew some of the meats and then you have that shepherd pie you talked about. Yeah. Oh yeah. It sounds super good but super filling. Yeah. Alright, so I got an old forester rice, old fashioned, and it looks really great. It is beautiful. Perfect color. Look at these tables. Oh, I'm so happy. This pinotage, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now. You can get the painted dog typically. I have to go look for my page tonight in the gift shop here. The painted dog is absolutely is so good. And also, of course, uh, the portion of the proceeds go towards the painted dogs. Uh, the program to help them with, um, you know, supporting 
the plight of the painted dog. And it was, it's got, um, for me, it reads, well, a Pinot Noir. Um, it has, like, it's a spiced, which I really like that about it. And so while it's easy to drink, it's still complex, which I, for me, is like a win-win all the way. Old Forester Rye. I just asked for a rye old fashioned, but he gave an old Forester Rye. So before you enter the buffet, do us all a favor get yourself a little bit of hand sanitizer. Manny and I just did our hands. You grab a plate, and then the fun begins. Look at that sweet corn pudding with spinach and chocolate jam, olive oil, herb, crusted potatoes, Sengalese salmon with yasa sauce. Oh, spiced pork ribs with tamarind, honey, and barbecue sauce. Love that they have the horseradish sambal, which is going to be an Indian and Asian style sauce with chipotle, and the boma mustard right over there with the strip loin that they will carve for you fresh. For the babodi, which is a major hit with everyone. This is South African with ground beef, lamb, mushrooms, and eggs, and the Durban style roast chicken along with the house made tamarind barbecue sauce. Here we have basmati rice, some spice green beans with golden raisins, West African black eyed peas with stewed tomatoes. Look at that. The spice green beans are not out here right now. <laughs> and the coconut rice. Yes, yes, yes. The oxtail stew from Ghana, the butternut squash, and the chicken corn chowder, and then the seafood gumbo. So the seafood gumbo and the oxtail stew are kind of specials. They always have the chicken corn chowder and the butternut squash. Salads, we have the watermelon and tomato salad, avocado papaya grapefruit salad, and then you have an avocado tahini right here, the sauce, a fruit achar, South African vegetable stew, which they're about to refill. Then over here in the salads, this is where I go crazy. This is where I have to be careful. Pasta salad, coleslaw, tabbouleh, which fill my plate, peas, um, a chickpea salad, Tunisian couscous and shrimp, yes and then the North African cauliflower salad. Spice cottage cheese with the pineapple chutney is a must get for me. Then over here you've got a little hummus bar. Gotta love that. French rolls, hummus, sun-dried tomato hummus, coriander hummus, and mainly bread, which is a sweet corn muffin, as well as some pita. And over here, this is, I'm really excited about this cranberry orange bread pudding, that's new. The amarula cream on glaze on top of that. Holy cow. If you like the amarula from the Ziva Domes, I think you'll like that. They also have a regular vanilla sauce. They have cookies, chocolate chip cookies, mini cupcakes. We have hazelnut brownies, passion fruit mousse. Wow. Zebra Domes. Apple cranberry tart. And Madagascan vanilla bean cheesecake. Watermelon tomato salad. Yeah. It's so perfect. Just something about that salt in the pinch of mouth. Yeah. And then it's just boom sweet. This watermelon is good. This little salad thing I went with was this spiced cottage cheese with mango chutney. It just sounded like so refreshing and good. It is. This is amazing. Alright, so this is the oxtail stew. Serve yourself, so I try to get a good piece in there, and that's what this is. So look at that, it's fall off the bone a bit. It's very earthy beef. It's like a great, I mean, it's like a great beef type stew. Yeah. Really good. Really nice. And I like that you can serve yourself, because you can go up there and get the tiniest little smidgelet and try it before you commit. And that's what I would recommend, is get a tiny little smidgelet. See if you like it. If you like it, go get a whole bowl. Yeah. But the nice part about that, after the little chew, and I don't want to sound like it's chewy. It's like each bite, each chew. But if you're flavorful. comparing it to pot roast, is what I'm thinking. You're comparing yeah, it. Yeah, a to. lot of times pot roast can <laughs> lose its own beef flavor in the stew. Yeah. Like if you have it overcooked or something like that, it will it'll, it'll become very bland very quick. This is not that. Oh. This is very. So good. it's holding on to its distinct flavor within the stew. Yep. Nice. Okay. Here I am with a thing of seafood gumbo with some andouille sausage. Um, it has, here's some, it looks like a, like a base, like a base scallop. scallop. Yeah. A little bit of a little bay shrimp. You know, nice thickness to it. The okra's there, the tomato. So this is a gumbo, right? Yeah, this is the gumbo, seafood gumbo. Just kind of get the general flavor. 
It's really nice. Everything's tender. I am getting the flavor of that scallop though. Um, it's very, 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 very fine. So, like I almost wanted to put a little hot sauce on it or something. Kind of oh, really? Okay. Bring it up. It's, it's good, but it's super mild. So if you're oh, wow. not sure about gumbo, this could be a great way to start. Love all the spice pots. So these are like stacked spice pots. You see that? This whole place is set up to be like an African market, like a marketplace, right? So the different foods um, that we walk up to are like different food stalls or different food booths. You've got the carpets, the shade, the lights, the overhangs, and these different like little almost neighborhoods that people get to sit in. So this is the grilled strip loin, delicious. Look at that cook on it. It's like a medium rare, oh, delicious. Got some of the grilled chicken ribs. Had to go for the mac and cheese. Also got a touch of the coconut rice. It's a babodi, which is kind of like a shepherd's pie with beef and lamb. And uh, then tucked underneath here, a bit of the salmon with the red peppers. And we were talking about it earlier, they happen to have this vegetable stew over there next to the stews. The first time around, it was my pretty depleted, so it wasn't attractive looking at all, but it just looked amazing and fantastic. I had to try a bowl. So we're gonna split some of that and uh, see what it's all about. Okay, here's one of the things about a buffet. The presentation is at the buffet, not on your makeshift piled up plate, right? So my plate, your plate, awesome. yours looks better than mine. Mine looks a little sad, but I got the spicy green beans because Manny got them. He said they were excellent. I got more tabbouleh because, oh my God, I can never get enough tabbouleh. So I went ahead and got some of this beautiful pita bread, little pita chips, and the coriander hummus. I got the salmon. I got the sweet corn with the, um, what was it called? It was a jam, a spicy, uh, Oh, I'll look at it and tell you guys, the jam. I got the mac and cheese because it just looked too damn good to walk by and not get. The coconut shrimp, and then I also got a smaller piece of that um, African strip wine, and it just looks so good. Oh, and I had to get the butternut squash. And I will tell you, my this part right here got on my finger, so I had to taste it. Oh, am I glad I got it. Oh my heavens, it's delicious. So we're probably not gonna do each item, but we'll, Manny's already digging in. We'll give you our thoughts on what was the highlights and the lowlights of our plates. Because I mean, gosh, we'll be here. You guys will be sitting with us yeah. for two hours if we do each thing. Although, chicken? A plus. A plus, I baby. I love thighs. Really good. It's very tender, juicy. That was like your meat stravaganza up yeah. there. That was, like chicken on the bone, ribs, some sort of lamb concoction, like the, the whole pie. shepherd's pie it's thing. Salmon. And then salmon, done beautifully, by the way. Yep. And that strip loin. Yeah. You're like living the life, baby. I'm very happy. And you can eat it all. <laughs> yeah. Like as I much as you want. Like no meat rolls. So. <laughs> he has zero meat rolls. Then one of his favorite things he ever had was pig face stew in Guatemala, Guatemala. in Antigua, nice. Guatemala. It was good. Many, many minutes later. Inherently, you rank, rank different things, and yeah, I think you know. the only thing that was bad here was the mac and cheese. But it was off the kids' menu. It looked really good. Looks we good. like mac and cheese. I just took a taste. It was like super watery. Really, it wasn't good. So, but that aside from that, everything was phenomenal. And I got the beef strip loin. Strip loin. Yep. I had a nice thick piece. You did. That was good. But the challenge there yeah. is, it had so many other flavors to compete with. And when you look at all those different flavors, that ended up being a little bit bland. So I think on its own, you get a little, that horseradish sauce, or the horseradish, which was just straight horseradish, it's amazing on it. And the chicken, super good. Well seasoned, nice dark meat piece, very flavorful, just like how I like it. Moist. <clears throat> Moist, Moist, I mean, delicious. 
you took a bite. I looked up at you, and it was like, it was like yes. actually, no, it was just the bone. And I was like, oh, that's a yeah. It just fall off the chicken. bone and yeah. super juicy. The rib was a very good flavor, very meaty, but there there was there was a lot of anatomy in that piece. And I know ribs were kind of different. Like depends what you get. Like this had little tiny bits I'm and pieces. I'm gonna use that forever now. There was a lot of anatomy in that. <laughs> there was, but the flavor was good. I powered through. It was it was good. A good piece. I appreciate your candor. But the babodi, I think, was delicious. Of that cardamom flavor. They worked in that cardamom flavor. Ground beef, ground lamb, lamb, cinnamon, kind of in a mixed shepherd's pie type arrangement. So good salmon it's amazing that it was so moist and well cooked for being such a big buffet piece it was like the perfect level to cook for salmon um it was it, it was it was the perfect shade of pink it was not at all dry and salmon can go from heaven to dry so quickly yep. this was divine it was Which, my win for the meats of the night I got and, and enjoyed the serve. What was that? A strip steak? Strip loin. Strip loin. Thank you. The strip loin. Grilled. It. It. Um. I had one bite that I thought, okay, this is really just kind of carrying this horseradish and stuff. I had another bite that had a nice little flavor to it, much more subtle. But again, there's so many big flavors here um, that. And in another setting where the comparisons weren't such big, bold flavors, I may have been able to pick up more on the subtlety of that tonight with everything that was going on. It kind of, it got lost. That being said, it was cooked perfectly. It was juicy. It was tender. Nothing like that. It just kind of like, like Mandy said, worked as a vehicle for the different sauces, which were delicious, okay? I loved the, ch the tabouli salad. I also really enjoy uh, the that hummus. I know, again, tabouli and hummus, big deal, but that hummus was amazing. The soups, that, and I mean, your the oxtail soup, I tried it, very good. Um, but that butternut squash soup was delicious. I could have gobbled an entire bowl of that one. But, oh, those green beans. The oh, green yes. Beans. I was like, Manny got the first and I was like, oh, because I didn't see them when I went. Well, they're spicy. And they had a really good kick. Amazing. I made sure, because there were some that had like more of the spices on them. I got just a little bit, like three or four green beans with the spices. They were absolutely delicious. I would totally gobble those things up, no problem. Um, everything was just really, really nice. Of the night, I will think about this dessert. I will think yeah. about this orange cranberry bread pudding and come back for it, like, and be like, oh, I know what I'm getting. And I don't think about dessert, so that means it's really, really good. Overall, standout of the night for me has been our service. The service at the buffet, all the folks that are working, there are so many people working back there. Like, there are people in charge, like multiple people in charge of each station. There are people on our side going around making sure that it's clean. There's nothing worse than going to a buffet and there's food schlepped all over the place, like all over making a mess. Nobody likes food schlepped. Nothing looks like that up there. And on the other side, they're refilling, keeping everything fresh, looking really good, their sauce is full. Like, I, I really appreciated that from that end. And then from our end over here at the table, our post was absolutely a dream. Like, I feel like she was almost like this person who transported us into the story of Boma, being someone who was here as a cultural representative, and it worked beautifully. Like, we were in, you know, and then Doug, we just really embodied everything that we hope for, like a person who loves to bring great service. Like, he is getting joy out of seeing how much we're enjoying what he's providing for us. Like, he is enjoying it's a reciprocal situation, and I love that because I am right there with them. Like, it's happening. We are all in this little sort of movie happening, the story, and and that's that's what makes a great time. So, a win, win, win. I am on super win.